Yes, I'm here again. Uh, uh, I'd like to say um, uh, a couple of days ago I celebrated my 75th anniversary of birth. That's, that's what it's called, an anniversary of birth. And uh, that means my parents had sex in 1943. Uh, which is good to know. Um, so uh, the last in today's series of portraits of, of women, in this case, of whom I've respected, is a, a much more contemporary work um, from two, 2017. And the woman I'm going to show you uh, is, in my view, one of the great intellectuals in terms of uh, depicting and uh, exploring the uh, disproportionate, uh, I guess it's disproportionate methods of how we conduct our lives in a democracy uh, in, in, with respect to finance and government. That person would be the author of several books, her name is, uh, uh, what's her name? Linda McQuaig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous today because uh, I shake, and when I shake, I get nervous. It's, it's a, a, just I'm, a whole lot of shaking going on. So Linda McQuaig Quaig, uh, is a Torontonian, and uh, her books are available, I'm sure, at your library. Uh, corner library, uh, unless, of course, Doug Ford, Ford has closed the library. Uh, that's not a joke. That's a fact. Uh, so this picture of Linda McQuaid uh, depicts a woman who has done excellent, excellent uh, journalism and uh, calculations uh, of how we're basically discriminating against people uh, at the bottom ladder, or also known as poor people. Here's, here's my portrait of Linda McQuaig. Get ready. Good? Very good. <laughs> 